Why does it seem like your ex and you could be connecting really well and getting closer and then suddenly just, they're gone. They just disappeared. They ghosted you. They won't respond, maybe for days, maybe maybe for a long time. I don't know. But what's going on here and what can you do about it? Now, the first thing that we want to acknowledge here is that they could be feeling a lot of confusion themselves, right? It's really common and really easy for people to overanalyze things and to think that, you know, their ex is this flawless person who's making some sort of hard set in stone judgment against you in a moment by moment basis. I mean, you know, like if you need to obviously take them off the pedestal, we want to look at them on a human level. And the idea of being in a relationship with you or getting back together with you is, is, is a complicated decision for them. It's a tough choice. You know, they have to think, hey, is this going to be good? Is this just walking back into the same old, same old stuff? Is this going to be uh, something that, 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 that we actually can get past and cr to create a new positive future together? They're not going to be sure. And so they need to go through this process of being a little bit confused for a while. Now, the, the first point of confusion is they're not going to be sure whether they can believe their eyes, you know, especially if the, if, if the two of you have just recently had some positive interactions that go a little bit deeper than how you've usually interacted, like maybe you've met up for the first time in a long time, or maybe you've uh, opened up emotionally for the first time in a while or something like that, you could potentially expect a pullback, basically what we'd call a positive pullback in this case. And this is pretty common because they don't know what to expect. They're not sure what they're what they're getting here. You know, on one hand, there were a lot of reasons why the two of you broke up. Sure, right? And on the other hand, they, they, they just had a positive experience with you. So they could obviously be doubting which one to put their faith in. Is it is it their past? Is it the past that the two of you have had, the, the, the arguments, the fighting, the distrust, all of that stuff? Or is it what they saw when they met up with you, when they had that deep conversation with you, when you were patient when before you would have been critical, for example. And that is where they might pull back and say, whoa, whoa, I thought, I thought you were this, but I just saw that. What's going on? Was I wrong? Was I, was I a bad judge of character here? Did you really change? Maybe you were putting on an act. Maybe you were just uh, 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 trying some gimmick that you picked up somewhere. I don't know. So it's normal for them to have this doubt. It's really normal and common for this to happen. You know, we talked about this a couple videos back, but it's so common that I really want to drive it through and make sure that you take this point home here. And the second point here is that they could also be pulling back because they're having a hard time making a difficult choice. My parents were divorced. They divorced when I was four. And, you know, I, I'd see my dad on the weekends and stuff like that. I, I didn't particularly like going to see my dad for complicated reasons that I'm not going to get into right now. But I felt very uncomfortable on, you know, Saturday morning when he was supposed to come and get me. And I was waiting for his green truck to pull up and I was going to, uh, you know, go and finish watching Saturday cartoons and get in the truck and go do whatever we were going to do. It was, it was uncomfortable for me. And I remember times when... Um, you know, I would want to, to, to get out of that situation. And, um, you know, maybe I'd be sick or maybe I had, there was some sort of event or something and I, I couldn't spend the weekend with my dad. And so, um, I, thankfully my, my mom put me in the situation where I had to call him. I mean, it, it helped that she didn't like interacting with him at all and they refused to talk to each other. But I think it was a good character growth that I had to actually call up my dad and say, Hey dad, I'm um, sick this week, can't come over. Or, hey dad, I've got, you know, this, this thing going on and I can't come over this week. Um, but when I was faced with that uncomfortable situation, I had to make that move, make that decision to make it final, right? And I would do what a lot of people do. I would procrastinate. I would kick the can down the road. I would stall. And that could be what your ex is doing at this point. You know, they know they have to make this choice. Should we get back together? What are people going to think about it? What if it, what if it, what if it gets bad again? This is a big risk in a lot of ways. And maybe they have to break up with a rebound or something like that. Who knows? But there could be all of these reasons for them to stall and hesitate because they have to make that uncomfortable choice. They have to make that hard choice that could be very uncomfortable for them. And so what they need in a moment like that is to know that they're not 
making a hard choice for no good reason. They need to know that they're making a hard choice for a good reason. That's to say that the two of you are going to have a great relationship on the other side of it, which is why a lot of encouragement can really help. Anyway, that's where the emotional connection comes into play. And if you want to learn more about how to connect with your ex on an emotional level, please make sure to watch this video series over here on what we call advanced relational skills. Okay, These will help you to create that strong emotional connection to help them uh, through those difficult challenges. Anyway, if you like this video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon as well too. Anyway, take, take care and I'll talk to you next time.